fashion trendsetter Cher was a hit at Sunday's Super Bowl, and she's riding high with her number one dance single, Believe. But without question, what makes Cher happiest these days is teasing our Mark Steinus. Well, you see, you don't know everything about me, Mark. I love uh, busting your chops. I just can't help myself because you're so easy to no, do. No, I'm it not. Too. I'm yes, not. you are. No, I'm not. No, All right, I'm not. Yeah, what? What is that? <laughs> I'm trying to recover, okay? Every time I get together with Cher, it's an adventure. And I also learn something new. Now, Miami, on yeah. to the next subject. It's a great town to party in, but you're going to come here to work and do a little movie, too. Jennifer Aniston, The Jen Breakers. And I, yeah, Jen and I are going to do a movie called Breakers. It's uh, where you, we play a mother and daughter con artist team. And it's, the weird thing is that I've known Jen forever because she was Chas's best friend in high school. They went to high school at Performing Arts together. Really? Yeah. So Jen used to be hanging at my house all the time, eating all the food. Chas's friends ate, out, uh, ate us out of house and home. So is it going to be hard to work with her, knowing no, that you look at, at her and go, this no. is little Jen? We were hanging out the other day. We were having a blast. Our conversation naturally shifted to Jennifer's boyfriend, Brad Pitt, and the break-in of his home by a female fan. Cher shared her own obsessed fan story, a terrifying night out with Whoopi Goldberg. Now, I was going to the movies. Did I tell you the story about one night? I was going to meet Whoopi at, in Malibu at the movies, and I got there early, and I, and I went out to wait for her, and there was this guy coming towards me, and I thought, oh, my God, I recognize that guy, but, but I, don't, I can't remember his name. I thought, oh, God, I hope he doesn't, like, I hope he doesn't expect me to know who he is, and I thought, he's probably an agent. That's everyone to me who I don't know as an, as an agent, you know? <laughs> And he came up, and as he got about a foot away from me, I realized that he was a guy who'd been stalking me. And there was a, there was a, one of those um, things that keep them away from you. You have to right, go to court. Right, right. Restraining and order. We're restraining order. And I got up like this close to him, and it was until then that I realized who he was. And I was alone on the street with him, and he reached into his bag, and I just about, I almost fainted. I was so terrified at that moment Whoopi came up and she said the look on my face was so frightening that she just said come on we don't have time to be talking to people come on you can talk to him later come on let's go to the movies and then the police arrived and all kinds of stuff because they had known he was in the area and but you know you it, it's not it's not a good feeling you know it's not it's like people think that stars are so uptight and touchy and they don't want the photographers and all that but you never know who anybody is Mm, thanks a lot, Mark and Cher. And up next for Cher is her movie, Tea with Mussolini, with Lily Tomlin, Judy Dench, and others out this spring. And we'll be right back with the... Is there anything Cher can't do? Here she is now as she performs what is now the biggest selling single by a female in British music history, Believe.
with a record six wins.